guess what time it is it's time for the my zone active kids program where we actively invest in your future while we have some fun i'm having fun my name is marisa Stoffach, and today i am super excited because i have a special friend in studio for the very first time hi friend hi friends <laughs> Hi Marisa, hi friends, my name is Yami Duplessis and I'm so excited to be here today because we get to learn and have fun and we're going to get paid a visit from two very special friends, Ooh. Zoe and Zoshi. Yes, we are. But Yami, before we start, can we please sing that super fun song of ours? Let's do it. So if you recognize it at home, which you will, it's a classic. Please sing it with us. We'll be singing it two times. Yami, that's one and two. Are you ready? I'm ready. And one, and two, and one, two, three. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my hand and this is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my hand and this is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Oh, I love that song that so much. So much. But Yanni, did you know that you can see all of this fun and Zoe and Zashi every single day of the week from Monday to Friday at 9 on the My Zone and Zoshi Facebook pages. Hello. Yanni, did you know, do you know what day it is? What day is it? It's my favorite day. What? <laughs> it's junk okay. food day. What? <laughs> Yanni, what's your favorite type of junk food? Oh, pizza, Marisa, always pizza. Oh, Everyone no, no, loves no. pizza. I love junk food. I love burgers and chips and, and everything that's nice. But please remember that when you eat that junk food, you need to stay active. Nice. We're going for some pizza later on. We're so excited. So please watch the following video yes. about the different types of junk food. I'm so hungry. <laughs> one slice of pizza will you share that with me maybe we'll see <laughs> <laughs> Please get no, i will share with you because sharing is good yes it is and we also want to start by thanking innovations so much for these super fun big dogs <laughs> i just love doing that it's my favorite time of the day if you want to rent anything for your super cool party, please contact info at kickstart.com. And if you want me, Yandi, or Mr. Swipes to be there, just drop us a message. We'll, we'll come, we'll say hi. Yandi, do you know what thing we have this week? Marcel, I'm so excited for today, and I hope you are too, because our super fun theme is our beautiful country, Namibia. Yay! So, our super special friends, Zoe and Zoshi, will be telling us what they love most about this beautiful country of ours. I just love our country and I love our people and I love our food and I love having fun and I love Zoe and Zoshi and I love Yandi and I love active kids and I love ice cream and chocolates and I like being active. I love everything. Life is fun. <laughs> this is Stripes, for those of you who don't know him yet. This is a proudly Namibian zebra. Do you know why, Yandi? Tell me why. He's made of Namibian newspapers. No. The Republica, the Algemeine Zeitung, and the Namibian Sun newspapers. And he has a heart of gold, this little one. So I'm just going to keep him close to me, Yandi, please. He's, he's mine for now. Yeah. But I think it's time for us to get our education on because it's time for us to head into our, our lesson for today, which is Book 11, Lesson 2 for Pre Primary School Learners. Let's do it.
explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Nitsai. Our theme is Namibia. Now let's sanitize our hands before we begin our lesson. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now, boys and girls, let's remember to maintain our social distance at all times. Today's lesson is lesson two. And the theme is Namibia. Let's turn over to page 7 of our booklet. On page 7, the instruction says, Color in the Namibian flag according to the instructions. There is one thing that we need to focus on, on the Namibian flag, it has different colors. I would like you to look at my board over here. I have the Namibian flag. With me over there. Okay. And now I would like to show you how you are supposed to color the Namibian flag. We need to color in the sun yellow, and this is yellow. We must color the sun yellow. And we need to remember the sun shines in the sky. What color is the sky? The sky is blue. So we must color the sky blue. And we have to look on the next part of our flag. We need to color this part red. And we move over right to the bottom. What color should we color in? We should color in green. There is our Namibian flag. And right on the board behind me, you are able to see the Namibian flag colored in the correct way according to the instructions. Let's go back to our page seven. And remember the colors that I have shown you. The sun should be colored yellow. We should color the next part of the flag where the sun is shining, we color blue. And just below, we have a white line that we should leave out as white as it is and color in the next part of the flag red. And there's also a small portion or a small stripe of white just below the red. 
We leave it out as white as it is and color the other part green. As you can see behind me on the board, the Namibian flag has been shown to us and follow the colors as you can see them. Now let's turn over, if you have finished on page seven, let's turn over to the next page, which is page eight. On page eight, the instructions are, cut out the emblems on page nine, and our page nine is right in front of you, we need to place the shapes in the right place. Now, before you can do that, I would like you to focus on my small board once more. We have the coat of arms, that is the Namibian coat of arms, and all the emblems have been placed in the right place. We need to remember where do we place the emblems? We have the two oryx animals on the sides or besides the shield. So remember where you need to place them. If you look closely on my little board, we have the fish eagle and the fish eagle is right on top of the diamond headband. So we should remember where to place all these emblems. Now let's get back to page nine. On page nine, you need to take out your pair of scissors and let's cut out the first picture right on top where we find the motto for Namibia. It reads unity, liberty, and justice. Let's cut it out and go back to page eight. Find out on the picture on page eight where exactly this motto should go. If you look at the picture and look at the shape that you have just cut out, it will fit nicely in the right place. I will give you a clue. If you cut out the motto and the St. Dunes that we see right at the bottom of the emblem, you should be able to place it at the bottom of page eight. If you have done that, let's move to the next activity on page nine. What is the next picture that you are supposed to cut? Let's cut out the eagle. Cut it out neatly along the dotted lines. Once you have cut it out, let's go back to page eight. And let's look at the shape that we have just cut out. Where should we place it? Try to fit it in on the left-hand side. Does it fit in? No, it doesn't. Let's try to fit it in onto the right hand side. Does the shape fit in nicely? No, it doesn't. Let's try to put it right in the middle of the emblem. Does it fit in? No, it does not. Now, where do you think this eagle should belong? Let's put it in the right place. Let's move over back again to page nine. Now we have the shield. Let's cut out the shield according to the dotted lines or along the dotted lines and cut it out neatly so that this shield will be able to fit into the right place. It's like we are building a puzzle, right? Cut it out. Let's move back again to page eight. Let's try now, where does the shield go? Just by looking at the shape of the shield, we should be able to know where exactly it fits. Now place it in and glue it in. Well done. 
Let's move over to page nine. Now we are left with two oryx, two animals that we can see. Let's cut out the one facing to the right hand side on page nine. Once you have cut it out, let's try again to find the right place on page eight. Let's go over to page eight and see if it can fit in on the left hand side or on the right hand side. I would like you to find out for yourself. I will not be able to direct you with both the two oryx. Let's cut them out and place them in the right place. Once you have finished, let's move over to page 11 of our booklet. On page 11, the instruction reads, compare the two pictures and mark the differences on the pictures below with an X. Right, let's look at our coat of arms right on top of picture number one. The picture on, uh, the, on top is complete. All the emblems have been placed in the right place. The motto is in the right place. The eagle is in the right place. And the two oryx are in the right place. Now let's look at the bottom picture and find out what is different with the picture at the bottom. We need to compare the first picture on top and go back to picture at the bottom. There is something that is missing on the picture at the bottom. Will you be able to find out what is missing on picture number two at the bottom. These two pictures are supposed to look exactly the same, but let's see if you are able to hunt and find the number of differences. Remember, you need to mark with an X where the picture is different and count how many differences did you find and write the number of differences in the block on the right hand side of both the pictures. Once we have finished, I would like to say well done and remember to color in the two emblems or the two coats of arms, remembering the correct colors as I have introduced the lesson to you. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Now let's sanitize our hands. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now, boys and girls, you need to remember to keep your social distance at all times. Now it is time for me to say goodbye to Zoe. Zoe, where are you?
Yandi, that was such a great lesson. I love learning with our teachers. They make learning so much fun. Today we learned all about Namibia, the Namibian flag, and the Namibian emblem. Yandi, don't you think we have the best flag ever? So, it makes me so proud to be a Namibian. It I'm just does. so happy. <laughs> Let's see what fun stories Zoe and Zoshi have to share with us today. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, friends, we missed you guys so much. I am Zoshi, and, and I love the Namibian flag. And I am Zoe, and I love my Namibian people and animals. And we are brother and sister. Today is such an exciting day. We learned all about Namibia and just having fun. Sashi, can you remember what we learned today? Of course I can, Zoe. In our lesson today, we learned all about the Namibian flag and its emblem. Yes, we did, Sashi. Can you remember what our Namibian flag looks like? Yes, yes, of course I can, Zoe. The first is the golden 12-pointed sun that represents the life and energy. <laughs> yes, Zoshi, you're right. Then our flag has a few different colors in it. The first is red that reflects the heroism of our people and their determination to build a future of equality. And then we have green. Green is for agricultural resources like farms and nature and then we have blue blue is for the sky and the atlantic ocean and we have white white is for peace and and unity <laughs> our flag really represents all our people zoe can we please sing that fun color song together yes we can are you ready friends and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. My favorite color is blue. How about you? How about you? My favorite color is blue. How about you? How about you? Red. My favorite color is red. I like red. I like red. My favorite color is red. I like red. I like red. Colors, colors. What's your favorite color? Colors, colors. What's your favorite color? Green. My That's favorite color is green. I like green. I like green. My favorite color is green. I like green. I like green. Yellow. My favorite color is yellow. I like yellow. I like yellow. My favorite color is yellow. I like yellow. I like yellow. Colors, colors. What's your favorite color? Colors, colors. What's your favorite color? Okay, Zoe had the moment right there, friends. <laughs> Zoe, it's, it's time for my super fun fact again. Did you know that whales can swim backwards? Whoa! Look at me swimming backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. But friends, we want you to remember that you can like any color you want. And always try to look for the rainbow, even when it's rainy. That's so true, Zoe. But that is it from us, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!
those two are just the best. I think it's time we have some fun, don't yes, you? Yes, it's our turn. Marisa, what physical activity do you have planned for today? Oh, I have so many things in my head. <laughs> I'm so excited. So friends, today what we are going to be doing is our friends, Zoshi and Zoe, asked Yandi and I to assist them with painting the Namibian flag. What? Yes, we get the honor of painting our flag, but what we need to do is we need to gather some paint balls for them. So they already have green, which is checked. Now we still need to get blue paint, we need to get red paint, and we need to get yellow, yellow paint. paint. Yes, that is the truth and nothing but the truth. So what we're going to do is Yandi's going to throw a dice, then I will throw the dice, then Yandi will throw the dice. The number on the dice symbolizes the amount of paint balls we need to bring them. So I'm going to put them in my three little baskets. One, two, three. So what we're going to do then is then we're going to paint our flag. But we also want to be super active. So we're also going to be doing a physical activity. So if there's a three on the dice, then we do the first one would be three one-legged hops. Then we're going to do bunny hops. And then we're going to do the sprinkler. It's my favorite move in the world. <laughs> Yanni, are you ready? Let's get started. So please so throw the dice so we can get what's our first color? Blue. Blue. I'm ready. And Yay! Oh, fuck. Yanni, can we count to five with our friends? Yes, we can. One, One two, three, four, five. five. So, so now five blue balls. Five blue balls. And a one. One. And a two. Two. And a three. <gasps> three. And then four. And five. Five. Whee! Five. So now we need to do five one-legged hops. Yanni, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. One. one. Oh, two. <laughs> three. Four. Five. So now it's time for us to get some red paint. Red. So let me throw our dice. And five again. <laughs> Number five. So Yanni, will you please get me five red balls for my Namibian flag? Coming up. And one. One. And two. Two. And three. Four. And four. Four. And five. Yes, sir. So five. So now we need to do five. Five hops. One. Two. two Three, four, five. Funky bunny. Funky bunny. And one last time. What's 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 next? So yellow, yellow. Okay, so our dice, Yandy. Uh, oh, four. <laughs> so please give me four yellow paint balls. And one. One. And two. Two. And three. So now, friends, it's my favorite move ever, the sprinkler. Yanni, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so that's it from us for today. Today we painted our Namibian flag with our different colors. Yanni, thank you so much for joining me. I had so, so much, much fun. fun. So we also want to recap on all the fun we usually have on this program. And if you have an older brother or sister at home, please remember the 12th of August is the Korea's VX Expo. <laughs> but that's it from us. Yanni, can we please do like a, like a fun dance before we say bye? Let's do it. And go. Bye.